So we're looking for the Airbnb, otherwise known as Kevin's English Schools. It's a, he's a Canadian friend of mine. We co-teach together. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some, that's the motto. So hey guys, I have been able to find the owner of Kevin's guest house. And we're going to ask Kevin a few questions about his property. How long has the property been open? Uh, about three years now. Three yeah. years, okay. But uh, we, we ran into a few problems due to the new laws in Japan, but we reopened pretty quickly. Okay, great. Yeah. And uh, let's see, it's, it's a log house. Can you tell me about the property? Um, well, we'll put a link down below so you sure. guys can check it out. But could you just like describe it? Yeah. Uh, the house came on a ship from Canada <laughs> and uh, landed in Japan now. Yeah. That's amazing. So, yeah, you landed in Yokohama uh -huh. and then uh, they had to put it up in a, kind of in the woods and then bring stuff down and, and build it wow, in Minami awesome. And yeah. it's three stories, correct? It is, three yeah. stories and a basement. Yeah, yeah. and you guys, you're, you guys are gonna get to see it because that's all part of this vlog because I went exploring. Yeah, there's a temple nearby. Temple nearby. Right. And uh, a hot spring. Hot spring. Hot spring, yeah, really yeah. nice forest area, good for hiking, yeah, it's nice. So, so you rent three rooms? Uh, we rent the whole house only now, so okay. we rent it as a whole house. Okay. So you, you have it all to yourself. Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned. Yeah, experience, yeah. Good okay. bath, nice bath. And we will, we'll put a link to the Airbnb site down below. Right. So, and can you tell us what the location, where, where you're at, uh, uh, in reference to like, say, Tokyo? Right, we're about 80 minutes south of Tokyo. Really nice area, lots of uh, okay. sightseeing and, spots. And you have access to like the train stations, transportation is... Easy high. access, yeah. Lots of, it's five minutes from the station? Five minutes. So that's easy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, lots of trains, yeah, lots, lots of, of trains and yeah. lots of stuff to do nearby too. Lots of, lots of yeah. good, yeah. All right, yeah. so there you okay. go. Definitely check out his Airbnb, guys, if you're in Japan and you need to stay for a night. And it's like the Hakone area is where is the tourist area it that is. you're pretty close yeah. to. So it's it's an ideal location, I think. Thank yeah, you. and it's yeah. yeah, super relaxing, chill place. And Kevin's the man. He's a super host. All right. Thanks for letting me stay. Thank you. Eric. That was awesome. Oh, this is it right here. That's it. This is the Airbnb. It used to be an English school. He turned it into an Airbnb. And then up this road, there's a temple and a hot spring right up there that we'll, we'll go to. So there's, there's two different rooms. There's a room six and a room 22. Room six is on the first floor. That was pretty easy. Okay, let's go in for the tour, shall we? It's got a lot of heart and soul. Here, there's our hostess with the mostess. That's Kevin and his wife. Thanks, Kevin, for letting me stay for free. Oh, complimentary wine. This is nice. Thank you. you take your shoes off. This is called the Gankan. Mm-hmm. Japanese house, Gankan. You can use slippers if you like, but I, I prefer not to use slippers. It's just the place is really clean. Looks like a piano here. Oh, uh, look at that handsome guy. <laughs> He'll be watching this video. <laughs> it's a classic style Canadian house. I mean, you can see all the wood, right? It's got three floors, right? So we'll show you up there. But this Airbnb and the rooms can be rented here. Very reasonable. So this is where we have the annual um, Super Bowl party right here with the TV. About 10, 15 people. But now it's summertime, so there's the Canadian flag. Welcome to Canada in Japan. Everything's labeled in English, AC or heater. I guess on the agenda for tonight is to prepare an Eric meal time. Guests who do not fill this out or who do not fill it out completely will be reported to the police. <laughs> uh oh, and to Airbnb. I better do this right now, yeah, just in case. So there's also a kitchen here. We'll be, we'll be preparing the uh, the meal time. It's just it's just a light meal. We're not we're not gonna be using the uh, the stove or oven. I, th I think it's just it's basically we're gonna create some crab sandwiches in the kitchen. Crab sandwiches and some sushi. This is room number six. So there's this. This is room number six. Pretty nice, huh? He's got directions to the parking, which we found already. That was pretty easy. The train station's over here. It's about five minutes. If you come to this Airbnb, you can walk to the house. And the house is just right around the corner. If you drive, then yeah, you can park free. This is cute, huh? Look at this. 
So, I mean, just the room itself has, like, it's got a coffee station. I like the windows that open up to the outside. Uh, second floor. And let's see. That's a private room there. Another bath. This is the shower. Oh, look at this. Cool. Wow. This is gorgeous. Yeah. So this is like the washing area, right? You use the, the bucket right there and then that's a gorgeous tub. Wow. You figure out how to fill it up. Okay. Room number 22. It's got a, <laughs> there's a station map for the, it's a train schedule. This is really nice to have too. Because the, the train station is literally five minutes from here. Five minutes you can be at the train station. So a couple of beds, a view. That's where we're going tomorrow, up to that mountain. There's a beautiful temple back there in those mountains. It's one of the biggest ones in Japan. It's Kevin's guest house in Minami Ashigara. So I guess we could take a quick look. Oh, there's a clinic if, if you have trouble. They, he shows you where the doctor's offices are if you get sick or something. And ha Hakone is just a hop, skip, and a jump. Hakone is one of the most beautiful places in Japan. Yeah, let's go up to the next floor. Okay, so I think this is how you get up to the third floor. This is getting spooky. <laughs> and this up here, this is the Harry Potter room. He calls it the Harry Potter room. It's dark. <laughs> There's ha <laughs> look. <laughs> I love it. Look at this tiny little entrance. Kong. This is the Harry Potter room. Right there, look at room 33. Is there a light here? Wow, this is so cool. Look at that. Hogwarts. Has he got any of the Harry Potter books? He does, he's got the Harry Potter book. It's in Japanese right there. There's the books right here in English. It's an Eisenhower dollar right there. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I just finished up shooting an awesome episode of Eric Mealtime in the kitchen here at Kevin's guest house. And here's Kevin's information. That's where you guys start. I'll, I'll put a link down below. It's not really a commercial. I mean, he's letting me stay free. You know, and we've been friends for a long time. So Kevin's my bro. And if you guys want to come to Japan, he's basically it's an hour outside of Tokyo. You can take trains out here. The the train is only five minutes from the his location. And then from his location, there's Hot Spring that you can go to. There's the third largest temple in Japan. And then there's Hakone, which is this really special sort of um, hot spring area as well, too, that's not far, that you can go by train. Anyway, I'll put the information down below. The next day. Good morning, YouTube. It was a wonderful stay at Kevin's Airbnb. Now we're right up the street about 10 minutes up the street at the Daiyuzan Temple. One of the third largest temples in Japan. It's, it's in the mountains, it's, it's gorgeous. They've got these huge trees surrounding us. And we're in the deep forest. It's a beautiful, gorgeous place. It's in the morning, so there's hardly any people here too. Oh, it's a well. Huh, you can, you can drink water from it. How about that? That's the well right there. <sighs> That's some really good water. Oh, so pure. <sighs> oh, it's just incredible. Definitely a power spot. And they've got like, all these like these are sugi trees, you know, several hundred years old. They, you can't even see to the top of them. They go so high. Incredible. A lot of steps. Lots and lots of steps. Uh, uh. What do we have here? We have lanterns for nighttime. And lots of little stations to purify yourself before you go in. Look at the dragons. 
Did you guys know that one yen coins float on water? Look, there's a whole bunch of them down in the bottom here. But one yen coin, it's made of 100% aluminum. Look at that, isn't that cool? <laughs> Let's blow it. Let's blow it into the dragon's mouth. Let's do another one. You see that? Yep. They're a family. Yep, that's husband and wife. Let's see if we can bring them together. I hear the sound of a waterfall. Make sure I don't fall. <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. The water feature. Oh, Look at that. And the temple right up at the top there. Wow, that's pretty. That's pretty. Beautiful. For good luck, good fortune. Swim, little fella, swim. A lot of them in there. <laughs> Definitely worth supporting this. Did so much work went into putting this thing together. There's another waterfall over here. Thank you. Wow. Very cool. The waterfall built into a temple. Look at this. The waterfall built into a temple. Right there. This is what's used to awaken the gods right here. Thought it would be louder. This little drum here too. Very cool. Lots of chances to donate. Lots of chances. Just for candles at night. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Gorgeous. It just keeps going on and on and on. This is a big one. Very nice. Geta slippers that the gods wear. Oh, these dudes must have just been huge. Right? They're probably the size of these trees. Right? Where did they go? This is just endless. It just keeps going and going and going. It's incredible. Right? And it's it's they have lights for nighttime too. Pretty Pretty cool place to come at night. Uh, seriously? Seriously? All sorts of chances to donate. You know what's going on, I suppose? Definitely a power spot. Definitely a power spot. God, this is insane. Gotta go all the way up. Which is, that's like the next prefixture. 259 steps. Was it worth it? You bet it was. This is the granddaddy. This is the granddaddy.
typically pray for health, wealth, and happiness. Yeah, I'm going to keep it the same in the Ray Wai era. Health, wealth, happiness. Yeah. And these are all the fortunes that people are wishing for. Right? This is the Inoshishi, the, uh, the animal of 2019. And yeah, these are all New Year's people. So that basically, that's the time when people come to temples is around New Year's. This is, these are also f fortunes that you buy, paper ones. It's called Omikuji. And then you can get different. You can get Daikichi. You can get, you know, really good fortune. You can get bad fortune. For good wishes, health, wealth, and happiness. Graduation from school. <laughs> get a good job. Mm -hmm. Have many grandchildren. Yeah, some good ones. So, oh, for the good harvest, the rice rice harvest. Make him up two months. Yeah. Beautiful. That was a lot of walking, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. The Dayuzan Temple, wow. Worked up a bit of a sweat. I think the next stop is gonna be the hot spring. Yes, which is just down the road. So there's a shuttle bus that comes up here as well too, and it goes up from the station. So if you're coming by train, which most people probably do, then that's the way to go. And also there's a bus that goes to the temple as well too. So, yeah. But if you have your own car, it's even better. <laughs> wow. This place is elegant for sure. We're dressed, got the towels, ready to enter the hot spring. <laughs> These are really comfortable slippers, huh? Yeah, basically this is where you, you wash your body first. This is cold. This is the sauna in here, right? So cold water after the sauna. And then this is like the main pool indoors, two pools, and then there's an outdoor. Rotemboro, it's called. Japanese hot spring, one of the best ways to relax. It's amazing. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, it's about right. It took me a long time to, to get familiar with public bathing in Japan, community bathing, you know, naked with guys. But you know, after a few years, you just sort of forget about it. You're not looking at each other's ding dongs. It's, it's more about just, you know, personal relaxation. But it took me a while to get over that because it's not part of American culture, you know, public bathing. I'm over it. I'm way over it. Yeah. And you guys, if you come to Japan, get over it and just, just go for it. Yeah. You'll be glad you did. Give you guys a little tour. There's two baths outside. Okay. And typically one of them will be hotter than the other, so that's about 38 degrees. This one's about 35, so yeah. This one's for kids. Right. There's a place to rinse off outside as well too. It's a gorgeous place. It's a Wednesday, so I basically I have the place to myself. Let's go check out the sauna, shall we? Oh my boy, it's hot in here. As it should be. 72 degrees Celsius. One more minute. One more minute. It's actually not that hot in here. It's typically saunas are 90 degrees in Japan, 90 degrees Celsius. This is, I mean, I can stand here all day. And then when we finish, we're gonna go outside and plunge into the cold water. That's always pretty exciting. Yeah, and also good for breathing, meditation. Yeah, you can really clear your mind in the cold water. <laughs> All right, we are good to go. Get the hair blow dried. <laughs> well, they got little hammocks. Look at that. I'll meet you over there at the end, the hammocks. 
It's just kind of a new attraction, the, uh, the hammocks, outdoor hammocks. Where else would a hammock be? Not in the house. This, this is relaxing. All right, just hanging out in my pajamas. Oh, so good. It's about time for Eric mealtime. I'm getting hungry. Yeah. I feel like having a burger. Oh, sushi? Oh, soba. Tempura. What's it gonna be, guys? Pizza? <laughs> we'll figure out something. Yeah, so I think that's gonna do it for this episode of the vlog. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, I look forward to reading your comments. Have a great day, you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Live young, live young, hit the throttle. Get some, get some, that's the motto. Get some. That's the motto. Make sure you sell Eric Surf Six. Sub Eric Surf Six. Congratulations on making it all the way to the end screen. So, what are you going to do now? May I interest you in one of my other videos, perhaps? Click the links on the screen and hang out a bit longer. And finally, don't let your meat loaf.